This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm at the annual meeting of the American College of Rheumatology in Philadelphia and speaking with Dr. Laura Julian, a neuropsychologist from the University of California, San Francisco, who presented a report from the Lupus Outcomes Study that showed a high prevalence of depression in lupus patients and that the rate of new depression was especially high in patients with cardiovascular disease. I asked Dr. Julian what might link cardiovascular disease and depression in lupus patients. We know that in older adults, those who have who've accumulated significant cardiovascular or cerebrovascular burden are more likely to develop depression. And this is called vascular depression or the vascular depression hypothesis. And the idea is that there's some accumulation of vascular disease in specific white matter regions of the brain that might precipitate the development of depression. Um, this has never been looked at with patients with lupus. Um, but certainly we have this population who's young and who's at very high risk for cardiovascular outcomes. Um, so we think it's a reasonable working hypothesis. And in terms of any uh, immediate uh, messages, one might be that because of this high rate of appearance of depression that you had found that it would be reasonable to try to regularly, perhaps annually, uh, assess patients with lupus for depression and when it's found to uh, treat it using conventional means. Yeah, I think that there are, there are many, many tools out there that can be used to very quickly assess depression um, in the clinic setting. And I think it's reasonable to do, um, depending on how often you see patients or what other risk factors they might have every few months or something like that. So I think there's tools out there that can be done relatively quickly. Um, I think the benefit is that you know, if there is a relationship between some of these traditional cardiovascular risk disease and depression, both of these are potentially modifiable. Um, there's good treatments out there for depression, so both behavioral and, and medical. Um, there's good lifestyle changes that can be made, so I think that we could potentially reduce the burden of depression and increase their health um, by addressing some of these issues. This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network.